It's crazy cooter scooter coming at you. I'm heading out Route 12 today. I'm going to go to uh, what used to be uh, Enchanted Forest here. Uh, used to be like Porter Cheston area here. Um, not too far away yet. Um, this would be the road you would go down to the National Lake Fort, uh, Indiana Dunes National Lake F uh, Shore as well. Um, so you're coming and see the signs of the town of Dunes area. And maybe I'll go explore that one day. But right now we're uh, going to go explore something else. I'll give you the particulars on the uh, Enchanted Forest stuff once we get there. Um, hope everybody's doing good and being safe out there. Um, as you can tell, I'm not riding uh, what I named Janine anymore. Um, I know I touched this on a, a little bit in the last one of the last videos I put out there. I still don't know how much I can really say about it, but I'm riding a new scooter. I'm riding a 2019 uh, Kimco uh, Super 8 X50. Um, very nice running scooter. I love it very much. I've actually named this one after my mom. Uh, I will do a uh, walk around video on this scooter shortly. I want to get her cleaned up and everything. I've had her for a couple weeks now. Enjoy riding her very much, this scooter very much. Um, so, anyway, like I said, I'll touch on the rest of that in another video once I find out how much I can actually talk about. Because I don't want to get in trouble uh, talking about it yet. Um, I uh, know a lot of other things that went on, and I'm sure you don't understand why I'm saying that. And I'm sure, but it will uh, be talked about in maybe a future videos so uh, stay tuned for all that information I got about another maybe mile to go to the road or looking for I'm guessing looking at my GPS right now yeah I've added a uh, phone uh, holder onto the scooter I just got that in the mail yesterday it's working it's working quite nicely I like it so far. I just put it on uh, the scooter last night when I was at home. So we're going to be taking a right here shortly. Onto Waverly Road. I think this is the right I'm looking for. Yeah, this is the right I'm looking for. So we'll go down this road here. Once we get down this road, we're on Waverly Road. We'll be on the left side. And we'll be at what we used to be uh, Enchanted Forest. And then it became Splashdown Dunes. And the last thing it was was Seven Peaks Water Park. Like I said, I'll give you more information once we get to the site. Which shouldn't be too much longer. Because like I said, it's going to be on our left side. So, just be watching out for that. Uh, you'll see a Dollar General in the uh, certain corner. It's what we're going to probably pull into to be safe to talk about. This. So, here we come up on what used to be uh, Enchanted Forest, as you can see on our left right here. You can see uh, the water park stuff has taken down, as you can tell now. So. Like I said, I don't really want to turn in here. I don't know if anybody still owns the property or not. But you can see where its fence is open. So, like I said, we'll turn in here. I think that would be our best bet. And we can see the property very well. We have reached our destination. We're going to pull up over here. See, there's a Dollar General right there now. Yeah, I know. We're here. <laughs> Thank you, GPS. So now you can see uh, what I'm talking about. It's all uh, down. Let me get that off. That off. Now, let me pull this up so I can read it a little bit better. Now, Enchanted Forest opened back in 1957, and it closed 
On uh, August 2nd, 1991, after the park closed, many of the rides were actually shipped to another amusement park. Uh, I believe it was called Little America Mu Park in Wisconsin in 1994. I don't know if that park's still open or not. If anybody has any information on that one, you can comment below. Then it became Spouse Down Dunes in 1994. Uh, it took over, of course, what used to be Enchanted Forge property. Uh, it closed in... Splash Down Dunes actually closed down in 2009. Uh, it had, an, after an ownership dispute, the original owner regained uh, ownership of the property, but it remained closed, of course. Then uh, the property was bought in by Seven uh, Peaks Water and Park, and which is now closed, of course. I uh, don't know any information about that part. Uh, as you can see, it is gone. They tear down all the water rides and all that. Which is very, very sad, but things like that do happen. Now, I remember getting to come here when it was a Channel's Force as a kid. I never came to the Splashdown Dunes or any of the water parks that were here. Um, the only water park I did get to go to was uh, I've been to Splash, was it Spl no, Deep River a few times growing up but uh, I haven't been there since I was about 15 years old my uh, remember growing up going there uh, the splash down do uh, yes yeah, to uh, deep river I lost a pair of glasses going to that one uh, right after I got them my parents about kicked my butt for that one so that's gonna do it for the enchanted Ford stuff we're gonna go uh, I'm gonna go explore something else and I'll probably uh, show that to y'all in the next video. I'm gonna take this right, right here. Hopefully this will help me out along the way. And uh, until the next time, remember to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to y'all in the next one. This is Crazy Cooter Scooter over and out.